Capricorn, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 12th through the uh, 18th. And uh, I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. I brought Oscar in, but uh, maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> He's uh, making a mess here. Baby boy, we're going to bed? We're going to bed? Come on, Cappy. We're going to bed? Brought him in. It's the Cappy reading. And I'll put him up here next to me. Well, let's see, Cappy. Ooh, the overall energy for the reading, the fool. This is a good energy. This is one of those energies of let's go, let's take a chance, let's embrace life. Really cool energy. I feel like you've been in this energy for quite a while here. You keep on showing up in this one. Um, in the recent past, the Ten of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. Happiness, it is tied up to love, it is tied up to another person, but then I see a sense of um, singlehood, you know, so I don't see a breakup, but I see this happiness being shared with someone and then you're still happy here, but you're by yourself here. Um, so to a little bit contrasting energies, even though the, both of them carry um, happiness in them, you know, and, and I don't know, we'll, we'll see. In the current situation, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Page of Cups. There's love here. There is love. Are you part of this love? That's my question. Because I see the Queen of Swords here, kind of like you're part of it. What is this? It's... Um, a little bit similar to the past energy. Where there's love here, you're here with this love, but you're kind of doing your own thing. Yeah. And we'll, we'll clarify and we'll see what's up with this. It, it almost feels like you're not attaching to love intentionally, which I don't think you mean to do. Um, in the immediate future, the Justice card, the Nine of Cups, the Star. All right. Um, coming back to some sort of emotional balance here, um, something's happening where I see you shifting more towards your heart and you create some sort of balance within you. And it's something that you desire. So that I see you consciously pursuing. Um, let's clarify. Let's see what's up. Let me see the full. I wish you could hear Juno growl. She growls at Kai, usually. Just um, before this video, they were in Oscar's crate because they took over. Oscar doesn't have a crate anymore because, you know, it's theirs. Um, and they were both there. And nobody, as far as I could tell, Kai wasn't doing anything, but Juno was just kind of looking at him at her. I'm like, okay. He usually does things, tries to play or whatever, but this time around, nothing. But I wish you could hear her growl. She's so stinking cute. Um, fool. The devil, the seven of cups, the eight of wands. <sighs> something looks good. Something looks and sounds especially promising. the the energy you carry towards let's go let's do this kind of a thing you're heading towards something that really looks good but i see it looking good for a split second i, I don't know i uh, it could be that this is on your side that's shown up the fool tied up to the devil there's this sense of impulsivity of um instant gratification kind of a thing where you might have the tendency to at times just go after things because they make you feel and feel good in the in the moment 
and then it kind of fades out kind of a thing so i don't know what this one is it feels like you're hearing something or hearing about something and it's like oh yeah, yeah, yeah let's go let's do but i don't know i guess you'll see but i see you're kind of going for it in that way of oh okay sounds good let's go um mm, mm, mm. ten of cups in the recent past three of pentacles queen of wands knight of cups so you had love here in this love there was also a sense of friendship a sense of partnership you got my back i got yours kind of a thing there was a lot of passion there was love all good let's do the nine of pentacles then Um, for the Nine of Pentacles, you get the Seven of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Judgment card. You closed off. At some point, you closed off and you walked away. Roles can be reversed, by the way. I do see this as being you, given that it's your reading, but it could be reversed. Uh, just as a reminder, but, uh... I don't see you doing this because, you know... Oh, I just don't love them anymore and whatever. I don't see it like that. I almost see it like I need to focus on something else. And for that to happen, I need to cut this off. And I don't want to cut this off because there's love here. There's all sorts of things. But somehow in the background there, your soul heard you. The universe heard you. And it started to point you in the direction that you needed to go. Which I don't feel like it was planned at that time for you to go in a particular direction. It was just a need to, okay, you know, I've experienced love. It's beautiful. Uh, next. You know? Um, I'm not saying there wasn't, you know, there, there weren't any issues here. or It's not showing up like that. It's showing up as a form of energy that had pretty much everything. And at some point, it's like, detach go focus someplace else kind of a thing and again i don't feel like it was a conscious decision i feel like it was more of a need of your soul almost like go do your thing you know kind of a thing uh let's do the two of cups in the current situation four of swords page of pentacles nine of swords I feel like you're kind of looking back at that. Either that or you're... Huh. Well, the energy of love is surrounding you at this time too. I'm not sure to what extent because I kind of see you looking back at the love you actually experienced. Still healing, still learning from that. There's still some pain attached to that. Um... So there's still things you're learning from the concept of love in general. But I see it surrounding you. It's not random that you're actually healing this aspect of your life, you know? You're making your bed. Um, so I'm not sure to what extent this love is surrounding you. If you know about it, if you're kind of playing with the in a good way playing I, I don't know let's do the queen of swords for the current situation the six of pentacles the lovers the ten of pentacles so you do want love but you want that perfect kind of love you want that which is it's not a bad thing to want it, it almost feels like well i do want love the one that i want is kind of not here that's why i'm not open because ever since you closed off here closed off it's kind of rough to say closed off ever since you shifted your focus we're not gonna say closed off because it it's not one of those things, oh my god, love hurt me so bad, even though maybe it happened, but not. that's not why you shifted. Um, it almost feels like you had a mission and you forgot about it, kind of a thing. The moon tonight is freaking amazing. I can see the reflection in the window there and I know it's there. Um, so ever since you shifted, you stayed sh closed off. 
<laughs> you're looking like no not really interested in love unless it's that perfect kind of a situation kind of love i'm gonna cut you uh gotta cut your beard around that nasty thing can't find your place come on sit down so you're showing me the notion of love but it has to be a perfect match to you for you to open back up to it until then it almost looks like i'm busy you know i'm doing my thing i'm doing all sorts of other things page of cups um you get the star the ace of pentacles the eight of pentacles Yeah, your focus is on the material right now. So you could be really, really focused on your work, on whatever creates a sense of stability for you. I don't see you open to love even though you want to, but it's not really here in the way you want to. So, so because of that, I don't see you there in that place of, oh, okay, let's revisit this notion of love. Let's do the Justice card in the immediate future. The Temperance card, the Two of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. So you're also, you're also a little scared to open up to love because... Because maybe it'll show up. You want it to show up. Not right now because you're busy. But what if I open up and it does show up? Uh-oh, what do I do then? But you are working on this fear by the looks of it. It's a difficult one because I feel like uh, you're so focused on your sense of stability that you kind of um, put aside. I don't feel like you're rejected, but you put aside all sorts of things tied up to the heart. You know, the, you, you gave your heart... Uh, vacation time or something um and that comes with a lot of healing around fear so of course fear is going to be the first thing that's going to show up when it comes to oh should i open up my heart oops let's do the nine of cups you get the ten of wands the page of cups the two of pentacles difficulty in opening back up and creating that balance between the heart and the mind difficulty um a little bit of sense of confusion around that too but i see you doing it even though it's difficult i see you doing it i see you opening up hold on hold your horses i'm gonna get you now you're not gonna jump okay all right hold on hold on guys i'm gonna move the table because he wants to go down and he's gonna jump and that i can't allow yeah he doesn't have the puppy strength he used to, so I gotta assist him a lot of times. So, a little confused, but I still see you um, a little confused, a little hard. But I still see you opening up, starting to open up from your heart a little more. For the star in the immediate future, you get the hangman, the seven of wands, the ace of wands. There's a little bit of pause here. Um, remember when I told you your focus is on your sense of stability or your job or whatever it is you got going on here? Uh, there seems to be a little bit of a pause where it looks like you kind of gave everything you have to the situation. Um, and now it's kind of like payback time or something. You're almost looking like you're waiting for the energy to come back in terms of, okay, you know, I, I did my assignment, now it's your turn, kind of a thing. Uh, so it comes with a little bit of a pause here. I feel like because it's coming with a little bit of a pause, that's why your heart is starting to knock at your door, being like, hey, you know, since you're free for a few minutes, how about we talk for a little bit? So that's why I'm like, why is this showing up? Why is Cappy all of a sudden wanting to go there? Not that Cappy wants to, Cappy has some free time. So the heart is knocking at that door of yours. Let's see. 
what the universe has to close it off. Love is here. Where is it? Where is it? I know it's around you. I know you want it in a specific way. The universe shows me. Oh, it's within you. Ace of Cups, Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, that was kind of a tricky um, situation. Because I was like, where is it? Where is it? You know, typical uh, mentality. Let's look outside. Well, it's inside. Um, so it, it is here. It is surrounding you as long it's, as it's within you. Um, I see you finding excuses for not opening up. You know, even when you do have a little bit of free time, kind of like, oh shit. Almost trying to escape that part of you that wants to reconnect back to your heart. Um, the universe says you, you kind of need that. A little bit of self-care, a little bit of self-love, and that'll open you back up. You know, like bring that in too. Even if you're dealing with physical things, it's going to help. You know, well, let's say, okay, you know, you're not focused on anybody. You don't have to be because the universe says it's you. It's self-love. But it might be helpful even in the physical aspects here for you. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.